Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exos Years content. Today's video, we're going to discuss my free-to-play account review. So this is the first time I'm going to review my my free-to-play account. So I've been playing with this account roughly for three to four months already, um, except that I stopped for a month. So there was a lot of time that I missed um, playing this because I was focusing on my main account. So. So far, I'll take you through the heroes that I have and uh, um, my future plans for this uh, for this account. So currently, I have their Dorka. So Dorka, I got her from the recent event that we had, um, the free Dorka with her with her free Fate Core, Orange Fate Core. So I've I've leveled her up quickly because I needed a healer that could really um, support my team especially in the chapters and, and, and to clear chapters as well so she's one she's the in the top um, among my heroes so she is actually equipped already ready to be awakened but i don't have any uh, good r1 gear so that's why i'm, I'm still holding on to her um, before before i awaken her um, she's actually helping me in chapters and as well as the PvP content currently. So for Dork, I just want to highlight. Um, I've already, I've already maxed out her attack tree because I needed her bind for this part, and she's helping me very much in most of the the content that I, that I play. So move on to the next. We have Deva. So Deva has been, I, I got Deva um, way back when there was an event that they gave a free Fate Core for Deva. But I also got another copy for her. So it's it's good that I fusioned her surplus one. So Deva is also part of my PV, PV, PvP team. So she is actually one of my mainstays. The next would be... Iris, so Iris is, I got her from, from the Summer Festa event, I was actually lucky to get her, I only got one, I didn't want to push my luck because I didn't have that, that much says because of course this is a free to play account, so she's actually a big part of my roster now, so again, um, not that much um, uh, in terms of, in, in terms of her uh, gear, it's actually all fated, but I haven't changed the Guardian Stones yet because I don't have, as you see, I don't have the gold currently, and I'm I did prioritize Deva, uh, sorry, um, Dorka and and Garf for the Guardian Stones to tweak it with the same color. Moving on, so we have Garf. So Garf is one of the most luckiest pulls that I have ever had because I needed him. Um, I needed him in my account. Um, it, I was just lucky enough to get him in one of my um, pulls. So all for Garf as well, I've already started with his stamina tree because I wanted to increase his health so that he can give HP and defense to the team, especially for PvP. Um, I don't use him that much in, in PvE content. Um, I use um, Iris for that, for light. So he is one of our mainstays for PvP. So currently, Dave, uh, Dorka and Garf, I just got them recently, kind of a bit together. I got Dorka first, then I, I was able to get Garf. So they're still at less than 90, 90 level 90. And I was actually lucky enough to get Annie in the string of creation. That was just recently because I was able to get a refund of how much? I think I, I got a refund of 10,000 cess for 15 pools for, for of course, the, the shell banner. But I got Annie from the string of creation, luckily. And I got also Rudley from the string of creation. <laughs> So this is what, this is actually a gamble on my uh, on my part already. I did gamble because I needed Annie, so it's actually a gamble when 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 it comes to free to play because you don't have much resources. So I'm glad it paid off, but I'm not really recommending the stream of creation for for you guys unless if you really need the hero for your PvP team. I needed one. I need to replace actually Zeon because I 
had Zion before in my PvP team. Now it's actually Annie already. So again, for Annie, at least I equipped her with faded gear and I haven't changed the colors yet. Okay, Doke. I got Zion actually in the first shield creation that I had to go through because I didn't have first guardians. I was not the my free to play account didn't didn't um, did not uh, or was not able to be used um, during the time that the first guardians came out. So it I created this account after my main account. So I had to go to the stream creation. I got fortunately I got Zion earlier. Um, and I got uh, Baelish for w with him during that time, so I'm no, I'm no longer summoning for that string. But Zion has been keeping me, keeping me what they call this, keeping me um, well in terms of the dragon, in terms of uh, PvP before. So um, he he has actually um, given me a lot of what they call this, a lot of uh, a lot of firepower before. All of these, all of the first five have uh, have came out. So Dorka, Deva, Iris, Garf, and Annie are actually um, um I actually use them now in PvP. So next again for Radley. So Radley, I'm currently using Rad. I used to use actually Radley is is one of the heroes that I picked. Um, in it, he is the hero that I picked in in the hero selection when I created this account. So it's just fitting that I get his fate core because I'm currently using him now in in the campaigns, sorry, in in the chapters, because of his uh, elemental enhanced four. I needed him there and I needed his um, AOE for his fate core. That's so that is why I got the string of creation. Okay, and in the previous event I was also lucky enough to get Shell. So Shell is. I got her, I think, after after a few pulls, after 10 pulls, I think. Then I extended my pulls because I knew that Zest would be refunded. Okay, and um, the rest the rest of the team down here. For Lepin, I got her from, from the account. I'm oh, sorry, from, from, from the banner. Um, Lepen also had an event where where Cess were refunded, so I had to maximize summoning for her. That is why I got another copy for her. So I got the extra zest from Lepen as well. And the recently for Shell. Otard, I was able to get her from her banner. And for Reed Marie, this was actually just recent. I got her from a a Fate Core reward, I think for um, I forgot, but but I got her from a fit from, from a random fate core pull. So Baelish again for the stream creation. Um, next would be would be Degas. Degas I got also from from um, from the Summer Festa banner because I didn't have any good blockers back then, and I also got Chatty recently. So very lucky pull. I got her on my third pull for for this account. And the rest um, of the of of the fate course, Mahar obviously I got from the event for the Korea first anniversary, and I can't remember where I got Burn of Us. So I really can't remember where I got her. So let's move on to the others. So the others I no I just have to pull, and these are some of the other fated um, heroes that I have in my roster. So if you go back to to my account, um, what I'm doing right now is trying to build um, heroes per element. So you have there, I have two for two for machine. You have there two for light um, and two for 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 fire ready. But there are other extras down there. Um, I think the only roster that I'm trying to build right now is actually dark darkness and i'm trying to build frost as well because i have i don't have a very good frost and darkness um, heroes with fate cores so adams is i'm still using actually adams so the goal right now is to have at least two per element um good hero so that i could 
I could, for example, um, conquer the other challenges so that I could get materials uh, from them, the higher ones. And also try to be able to level up heroes up to level 90 as much as possible because content requires you to increase your the other content especially for pve requires you to increase your combat power and that is what i'm doing right now so also i am actually in, in the in, in the process of getting more faded gear so if you can see there are a lot of faded gear that i'm still missing in some of my heroes so that is actually ongoing for the challenges i could actually clear up to special already i just couldn't clear i think it's a um, um, maniac okay let's see here for growth so as you can see so yes uh, most of them i've really i've already cleared up to special the challenge that i'm that i'm finding very hard right now is the lunatic stages for for solar trade route and lunar trade routes because i wanted to get um r1 r1 gear ready um this this is actually one of the things that i'm prioritizing right now to actually end uh, this um this review most of most of the time right now what i'm prioritizing is actually concentrating on only one signature force <laughs> wasted red okay so most of my good heroes are in wasted red so that is why i'm prioritizing signature force because i don't have signature force yet so not one signature force for my roster sad to say so i only have one copy of dorka and one copy of garf that's it but i'm trying to get more copies of garf through um the nation recruit tickets so that is why i'm saving up my ration my my nation recruit tickets so that i could reach up to at least fifth no 150 so that i could pull for this one for the for the mileage um this is actually my goal even for all um all free to pay players try to make sure that you have enough for for the mileage before you pull for nation recruit tickets this is the only i think the fastest way to get um to get to ensure that you get generals um you could also you know summon for them if if you summon for for what they call this in in some of the banners but it actually is um uh, rng dependent uh on if if the the game will give you a general but cross your fingers um, the game might give you a general but for you to farm them really you will have to depend on the nation recruit tickets to give you that also i'm also trying to do it through the scout system but i'm i'm actually still so way off or so far away from from having extra heroes for the scout system okay so that's it guys so this is this is actually my roster i'm happy with with how how this this has developed especially recently um during during the events where we got dorka as a free unit we've got we've got events that uh, have refunded at zest so my, my advice for free-to-play players is keep on at it because there might be similar events that they they would you know um refund zest i got it through lepen and i got it through gel through shell so just a little bit patience because free-to-play players right now are in a good spot in the game and uh, and accounts are easier to play um chapters are easier to clear as you can see i'm already at chapter 13 episode 4 so I'm, I'm clearing it slowly but surely so guys um thank you again for um sitting through this video i hope that you will support my channel and uh, subscribe to this channel write down in the comment section below what you think of this video this is the warden and i'm out